Welcome to this week's episode of You Don't Know Jack. Here we have guest star, State Coach D. <laughs> well, besides Jacoby, uh, you're basically the face of the program, So, but we really don't know that much about you. Can okay. you just give us a little bit, like, where are you from? All right, Jack, so the face of the program, huh? No, behind Jacoby. Okay. Behind Jacoby. <laughs> good. That's good. I'm from Kansas City. I uh, grew up in Kansas and uh, lived there from basically fourth grade through high school. Mm -hmm. uh, Dad was in the Navy when I was born, so born in California at a Naval Hospital out there. And then we moved around. Um, it was during Vietnam, so moved around after the war was over. And then he ended up in Kansas City for up until I went to college in Iowa at Drake University. Okay. Well, speaking of Drake, um, what made you choose football as a sport? Love the game, uh, mm -hmm. love the camaraderie, uh, the teammates, uh, the competition, uh, the one-on-one -on -one battles within, and uh, just couldn't get it out of my system. Knew I wasn't going to continue to play, mm -hmm. wasn't good enough, but uh, loved playing, didn't want to stop, so found a really good academic school where I could keep playing the game. When you say it wasn't good enough, are you referring to the fact that you were the seventh string tight end, I believe? Freshman year. Oh, freshman year. I, I was pretty sure you said senior year. Yeah. Maybe I misheard you in the You meeting. did. But there's a lot of things you've probably misheard since you've been here. Oh, really? Such as? Concerned about your attention span, Jack. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll note that down. That's a good story, though. I did go from seven string tight end on the scout team to starting tight end my freshman year and uh, never looked back after that. That's wonderful. I'm so proud of you, Coach. Thanks. Appreciate You're it, You're like Jack. my role model. <laughs> Today, anyway. Hashtag State Coach D. <laughs> so, Coach Doran, um, how do you feel about overweight coaches? Overweight coaches. Uh, well, I've been with a few. I'm working my way up there thanks to the barbecue in this state. But, uh, you know, I, I think that you got to try to stay in shape if you can. Mm -hmm. Chasing guys around on the field is something that most coaches like to do and being active. But uh, it's probably not good for our health to be that way. Well, that's why you don't chase guys around the field? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Huh? That's quite understandable. Is that on film? Is that on Me film? Me chasing you around the field? Uh, no, that's not on film. <laughs> that's not on film at all. I chase guys around the field that make plays. Oh, okay. That's why it's not on film. Oh, like you made plays at Drake? <laughs> a couple. Oh, wait, you didn't. I'm a sorry. A couple. So when I was the kicker, yeah. Oh, you were the kicker, <laughs> no, too? No, no. Oh, okay, okay. So you uh, very dressed up. What's yeah. the occasion? Wolfpack Club luncheon today. Oh, are you just afraid that I was going to look better than you? No. I knew that wouldn't happen. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So, Coach Doran, um, how does it feel to be a head coach? Just, like, put us in a perspective of your like one of your daily routines like what do you go through the day I know there's a lot of cameras and a lot of signing a lot of talking a lot of meetings like how does it feel to just go through a day as a head coach it depends on what kind of day it is uh, mm -hmm. there's some days where you look at your calendar and you come to work and it's exactly what you thought it was going to be um, multitasking a lot dealing with players dealing with staff dealing with boosters dealing with academic people on campus um, and then there's some days where things happen and you got to kind of get rid of your calendar and go deal with the things that happened and It's just a lot of multitasking. The best part of my day is when I get to be around the players at practice. I love practice I love practice too. I know you do Jack <laughs> yeah. So coach Doran, uh, who's your favorite player? Whoever makes the most plays that has the best grades Jack So is his number 29? <laughs> Not today So is his last name Tocho? <laughs> First name, Jack I don't have a favorite player, to be honest with you. Mm, that's interesting. I have a few that I don't like, though. Such as? <laughs> well, we know it's not Jacoby. I mean. <laughs> Get good grades, make plays, I'll love you. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I totally agree. You know, one day I want to fill your shoes, Coach Dorn. Fill them? What size you got? Uh, 12. There you go. We can do a handoff. <laughs> Come on, good. man. You going to be a coach? Um, I might consider Accounting? It. Accounting. Into coaching? Yeah. That'd be a I good step for you. Transition. You know, I'd like to remove myself from football for a little bit and then come back. Yeah. So, Coach Doran, what was it like to coach Jack Tocho? <laughs> I know it's an exquisite honor, you know, just to be in his presence. And yeah. Just all the positivity he brings to the field and just, you know, I know sometimes you can be at awe of like, wow, what an amazing <laughs> guy. Like, who? I've never been around anyone that talked about himself that way, Jack. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I got this conceitedness from you. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> I've only coached you one day. It was your first start. You remember what happened? 
I got two interceptions. Yeah. After that, I handed the baton back off to somebody else, and they've screwed it up ever since. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, maybe you should come back. I, I, I'd love to. I love coaching on the defensive side of the ball when I get to do it, and uh, I try to stay out of Coach Barlow's way because I know he does a great job with all the DBs, but I cut my teeth coaching DBs and linebackers, so whenever I get a chance to do that, I enjoy it. So for such a defensive-minded coach, why does the offense always seem to get seven plays, you know, within the series? Like, we might, we might be fourth down, and we get a stop, and you're like, oh, no, run it back. Yeah. Like, oh, no, completion. Oh, no, first down. Oh, no, touchdown. Because I like putting you boys in tough situations so that game day is easy for you. Game day is easy for us. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. You're sweating right here. I know. Okay? It's hot in here, Jack. It's hot. It's not you. Trust no, that, me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> well, I'm Jack Tocho, and this is State Coach D. And you don't know Jack.